at the International Reference for Land and Airland Defense and Security Exhibition, or Eurosatori 2022. Ray Mittal presented KF-51 Panther, a main battle tank which is destined to be a game-changer for battlefields in the future. This MBT is the newest member of Ray Mittal's tracked vehicle family. So why is the KF-51 Panther set to be a game-changer on future battlefields? Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Military TV. Today, we will be discussing about a new Rain Metal's main battle tank without being limited by yesterday's technology, the KF-51 Panther. If you are curious about this topic, don't go anywhere and stay tuned only at this channel. The KF-51 Panther is a main battle tank designed by Rain Metal in Germany. The first of its kind, this tank pioneers a completely new MBT concept. This is mainly because the Panther was built from the ground up using some of the most advanced technologies which set new standards in all areas. Lethality, protection, networking, reconnaissance, and mobility. It is unveiled by Ray Mittal at the Eurosatori 2022 event held in Paris in June 13 at stand F241-240. to So now, let's take a look at how lethal and groundbreaking this MBT is. Armed with the Ray Metal Future Gun System, FGS, an optimized sensor-to-shooter links, you have unrivaled lethality over match of this KF-51 Panther. This is mainly due to the FGS, which consists of a 130mm smoothbore gun and a fully automatic ammunition handling system, provides superior firepower against all current and foreseeable mechanized targets. The autoloader can maintain 20 ready rounds, making the FGS more than 50% effective for engagement at much longer ranges than the current 120mm systems. To make the tank even more deadly, FGS can fire kinetic energy rounds, programmable airburst ammunition, and corresponding practice rounds. Also, with further arm and options available, the Panther can provide concentrated firepower for long-range strikes and against multiple targets. These include a 12.7mm coaxial machine gun and Hero 120 loitering munition. The 12.7mm coaxial machine gun is intended to supplement the main weapon with a variety of integration options for remotely controlled weapon stations, or CWS, that offer proximity and drone defense flexibility. In addition, the KF-51 Panther on display at Eurosatori 2022 is equipped with Raymetal's new Natter or Adder RCWS in 7.62 variant. On the other hand, the Raymetal's partner Uvision's Hero 120 loitering munition can be integrated with the launcher for improved ability of the KF-51 to strike targets beyond its direct line of sight. The KF-51 Panther is the first MBT to use an outstanding integrated survivability concept that combines on- and off-platform sensors with active, reactive, and passive protection, as well as a dedicated top attack protection system, T -A -P -S. These compelling features offer active protection against a wide range of threats, especially the KE ones, and increase the level of protection without increasing the system's weight. The TAPS deflects threats from above, while the ROS, Y smoke or obscurant systems conceal the KF-51 from enemy observation. Furthermore, with its digital NATO generic vehicle architecture, or NGVA, the tank can generate additional sensors for detecting launch signatures. This is enhanced by the tank ability to recognize and neutralize threats at an early stage, thanks to its pre-shot detection capability. With such survivability and force protection, therefore, the KF-51 is fully hardened against cyber threats and is designed to operate in a contested electromagnetic environment. In terms of controllability and networking, the Panther has a novel operating concept. It is primarily intended for a three-person crew. The commander, gunner, and driver in the turret, with an additional operator station available for a weapons and subsystem specialist or command personnel, such as the company commander or battalion commander. The tank's fully digitalized architecture, developed in accordance with NGVA standards, enables seamless integration of sensors and effectors, both within the platform and into a networked system of systems. These allow sensor and weapon operation to be instantly transferred between crew members, 
Each operator station can take over tasks and roles from others while still remaining fully functional. The fully digitalized NGV architecture also connects all weapon systems to the commander's and gunner's optics, as well as the fire control computer. This makes it possible for both a hunter-killer and a killer-killer function, as well as instant target engagement. Further to this, since the turret and weapons can be controlled from the chassis operator stations, it leads to the plan that the future variants of the KF-51 Panther will feature unmanned turrets or completely remote-controlled vehicles turret and is even supported by human-machine teaming. For reconnaissance and situational awareness, the Panther is fitted with panoramic SEOSS optical sensor and EMES main combat aiming device that allow the commander and gunner to observe and engage targets independently, day and night, with both have already been provided with a stabilized daylight and IR optic with integrated laser rangefinder. Furthermore, the crew has access to a 360 degrees, round-the-clock view of the vehicle's surroundings via a display in the fighting compartment. In congested areas and close to the vehicle, integrated unmanned aerial reconnaissance systems improve the crew's situational awareness. With these, the crew can conduct reconnaissance while wearing armor and networkedly share the results with other vehicles and weapon systems. The KF-51 Panther builds on the Leopard 2's mobility concept. It has a maximum operating range of around 500 kilometers and an operational weight of only 59 tons, giving it far greater mobility than current systems. This puts the tank in a battle-winning weight category, and it also fits the tunnel profile AM of P4L without preparation, which no other current MBT upgrade can do. As a result, the Panther excels at both tactical and strategic mobility. Overall, Ray Mittal's goal in developing the KF-51 was not only to modernize existing main battle tank concepts. It completely redesigned the platform from the ground up. The KF-51 Panther is easily upgradable and can be outfitted with the most recent capabilities and functions. Its advanced, modular, open NGV system architecture allows for iterative development that can then be updated in sync with innovation cycles. The KF-51 is the first vehicle to represent a new generation of combat vehicles. Future innovations will soon enable environmentally friendly peacetime operations as well as further automation and combat effectiveness optimization. Furthermore, users, maintenance specialists, logisticians, and procurement experts from all current and future user nations can also play an active role in shaping the vehicle's future thanks to Ray Mittal's innovative development approach. So, do you think the Raymetal's KF-51 Panther will be the most advanced ultimate main battle tank and a game changer on future battlefields? Well, drop your comment below and let us know what you say. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time with more interesting topic.